so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video i'm going to show you how you can model this gaming sword in the blender with the help of the uh, reference so without any further delay now let's get started tutorial and here you can see guys this is our model and if i will unhide my uh, reference image so here you can see this is our reference image basically if i will uh, hide everything this is our reference image so first of all what i'm going to do i'm just going to uh, delete everything and start a new file and here you can see i have put some texture also in this model so it will look like this okay so first of all we'll model this so for modeling i'm just going to start a new project file it's going to do don't save so here you can see guys here we have a new project file so first of all i'm just going to get off this cube pressing the x then i'm just going to my front view and from here i will just uh, call my reference image so for calling and for adding my reference image i will just uh, press the shift a but before adding my uh, reference image i will just press the n and i'm just going to enable my shortcut vr so you can easily see which key i'm pressing on the left hand side you can see okay so then i will just press the shift a then i'm just go to my image section and here i will just add one background image then i'm just going to uh, locate my image where i have saved so here you can see this is our image so first of all i'm just going to rotate this uh, to 180 degree something like that okay then i'm just going to move it a little bit upside from my grid something like that yeah that's look fine to me okay and after that i'm just going to lock this from here so it's not going to move it now and if i will change my view orthographic to perspective so we'll also not see our reference image okay so that's great to us so we can see our model only not see our uh, reference image so first of all we'll create this uh, upper part so for creating this upper part i will just add one plane here okay and then i'm just going to change uh, a line as a view from here so it will automatically face uh, towards me okay then i'm just going to keep it here and first of all i'm just going to enable my um, x-ray view from here so we can easily see through our plane okay then i'm just going to keep it here something like that and then i'm just going to add uh, one as loop in between this plane something like that then i'm just going to delete the right hand part something like that then i'm just going to add one modifier it's called mm -hmm. mirror modifier okay and make sure you enable this clipping yeah so we are all set so now i'm just going to uh, align this plane according to our reference so make sure it should align yeah something like that so first of all what i'm going to do i'm just going to a little bit of scale first of all then i'm going to keep it here and then i'm just going to add some as loop here something like that and going to align according to our reference yeah, something like that then I'm just going to extrude one more time and then I'm just going to align according to our reference again Then I'm just going to again extrude and again I'm just going to align according to our reference so here you can see guys right now um, we have uh, that kind of shape here so first of all we have to just keep it a little bit downside and then i'm just going to extrude one more time pressing the 2 and then i'm just press the e and keep it here okay and then i'm just going to match this line to here but now i'm just going to disable my clipping for a while because we need to uh, keep this vertex here okay something like that and now i'm just going to extrude a line then i'm just going to extrude again yeah something like that and keep it this to here and now i'm just going to add one as loop in between here so it will maintain this curve which is we can see here yeah something like that and we'll just move this vertex to here and this one little bit downside so we can add one more edge in between here so it will also help to create a perfect curve something like that so here you can see we have a perfect curve here okay and uh, we can keep it this vertex to here yeah that's look great to me 
and after that I'm just going to extrude one more time and keep it here then I'm just going to align this line to here to here okay so what happened exactly we'll do the same thing again and again till we are not reaching here so I'm just going to uh, skip this process and going to click this process so I'm just going to do So here you can see guys our this process is done so now we are going to make the uh, this lower part so for making this lower part i will add again one plane here and then i'm just going to uh, change the align as a view so it will automatically face uh, towards us okay then i'm just going to again scale this plane and going to keep it here and same thing we'll do with this plane as well going to keep it here then i will just add one as low in between this plane and going to delete the right hand side vertices okay and then i will just add one uh, mirror modifier something like that and then i'm just going to align this mirror according to our shape yeah that's look great to me okay now we'll do the same thing which is we have done with the top part i'm just going to align these uh, vertices according to our references something like that So you can see guys here we have did some basic shapes so now we are going to maintain these curve which is we have to maintain so for maintaining these curve we'll add some edge loop in between here okay we can add two and three edge loop according to our curve so here you can see when i add the some edge in between here so we can maintain this curve and that's look more great now more cool now okay and same thing we'll do here uh, also i will add one edge loop here maybe two yeah that's look great and we'll just maintain this curve as well so that will look more rounded more uh, curvy okay and same thing we'll do this part as well we'll add two and three curve yeah three curve is enough so here you can see that's look great to me okay and uh, if you want to add one more curve here but i think there is no need to but maybe here we need it so we can just add one curve here and then we'll just uh, move this part to here okay and we can just keep it this part to little downside and we'll just move it here so here you can see we have a so here you can see that's look great also so now what i'm going to do i'm just going to make this uh, lower part okay so for making this lower part i will add one cylinder here first of all i'm just going to add one cylinder and we're just going to scale this cylinder and keep it here and try to match with our reference something like that okay and then keep it here and then i'm just going to uh edit mode of this cylinder then i'm just going to uh select these bottom vertices and going to pull something like that and then i'm just going to add some edge loop in between this cylinder so we'll add according to our shape so first i will add here second i will add here third i will add here and fourth i will add here and after that i will add one here one here and one here as well okay so here you can see now we have uh, enough vertices in our cylinder so first one i'm just going to select these vertices basically and going to scale to inside so what i will do exactly i'm just going to scale something like that so that's look great and I will select these vertices now and now I'm just going to scale outside so here you can see we have a that kind of shape here so after that what we have to do we have to just go to edit mode I'm going to scale this uh, cylinder a little bit more and same thing I will do with the top part as well yeah that's look great then I'm just going to add one subdivision surface modifiers for adding the more smooth so I'm just going to add the this sub surface modifier so here you can see when we add this subsurface modifier it look like this so what we have to do basically we have to just uh, select the our faces and i'm just going to extrude it and keep it here and i will do again extrude and keep it here we can do repeat this command pressing this shift r yeah that's look great and same thing we'll do with the our top part as well i'm just going to select then i'm just press the e and scale e and extrude something like that and we'll repeat this process and keep it something like that and after that i'm just going to again this edit mode of 
the cylinder and then I'm just going to select these uh, vertices these edges basically these edges and I'm just going to bevel these edges so for beveling these edges I will just press the control B and then I'm just going to bevel and now I'm just going to add one edge loop in between these edge so here you can see it will look like this I'm just going to do shade smooth so you can see that shape will look like this and that look great to me and after that we'll create this part so for creating this part I will just add one uh, circle here then I'm just going to uh, change a line as a view and I'm just going to change this vertices to 5 so it will look like that I'm just going to scale it down and keep it here something like that okay and after that I'm just going to edit mode of this uh, circle and then I'm just going to select these edges and going to extrude inside something like that and then I'm just going to select all over these and then, then I'm just going to extrude it something like that and keep it here that's so great so now we'll add some thickness in these uh, other object as well but before adding the thickness we'll just uh, add these holes before adding these holes what we will do basically we'll just go to our knife tool okay and here I'm just going to select my knife tool and going to cut these shapes something like that okay and we'll do something like that then I will just press the enter and same thing we'll do with this part as well I'm just going to select that shape and do something like that yeah that's so great and press the enter and after that select these middle faces and going to delete these faces pressing the delete and faces so here you can see it will look like this then after that you can just uh, maintain these curve as well you can just keep it here and after that what we will do I am just going to edit mode of this part then I am just going to select everything and then I am just going to press the 3 for the face mode and going to extrude something like that so here you can see when you will see it will look like this and then I am just going to keep it here and same thing we'll do with the, this uh, short part as well I'm just going to select everything then I'm just going to extrude it and keep it here so you can see that will look like this then I'm just going to uh, select the all part and keep it here a little bit so that will look like this okay and after that here you can see uh, so after that I will just add one edge loop in between this short for creating the uh, sharpness of this shot then I'm just going to pull this vertices something like that so that will look like this and now from here we have to just uh, move this vertices here to here so that will look like this and after that what I will do I'm just going to again front mode then I will just uh, create these uh, holes so for creating these holes I will just add one cylinder here and then I'm just going to change uh, view align as a view so then I'm just going to scale it and keep it here and something like that and then I will just go to edit mode of this cylinder then I'm just going to duplicate the cylinder and keep it here and then I'm just going to scale it and after that I'm just going to scale this cylinder something like that as well okay and after that I'm just going to add one boolean modifier on it and then I'm just going to select these shapes here and now I'm just going to hide these cylinders so when I will hide this so you can see we have a perfect uh, hole here okay but one thing we have to do here what we have to do we have to just uh, select this shape and keep it a little bit downside yeah that will look also great to me so here you can see that's look fine okay and after that I will just add little smoothness in the cylinder so it will look more smooth yeah here you can see 
now this looking more smooth okay and after that i will add the smoothness in this short part as well then i will just enable our auto smooth so it will look like more smooth and same thing we'll do with these part as well and this part as well okay and after that what we have to do we have to just uh, little bevel on it so for adding the bevel i will use this shortcut so here you can see we have a little bevel on it and we'll add the bevel here as well yeah something like that so you can see guys our modeling part is done and if i will just move our solid mode to the viewport mode so it will look like this and that's look great to me okay so that's how you can model the sword with the help of the reference images and that is a very easy process you have to just add some plane then you have to just maintain the shape according to your reference after that you have to just add some extra detail so here you can see here we have add some extra detailing okay and after that it will look like this and that look great to me so thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have the session please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys